Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are about to witness one of the greatest scientific discoveries ever made. The long lost brain of Sir Isaac Newton. Please welcome today's presenters, Professor Prove It and Crash. Most of you are right on time. Well, as you know, today is a huge day in the world of science. We have discovered the preserved brain of Sir Isaac Newton. Now, I wanted to wait for my partner to arrive, but, um, well, Crash is always late, so if you guys see him, just uh, point and scream. Yeah, he's usually wearing a Hawaiian shirt and... What? Oh. Uh, okay, well, I don't know what you guys do. I know, okay. Anyways, if you do see him, just point and scream, because you're... What? Oh, he's over here. Okay, let me just take a look. Wait a minute, there's no one over there. Okay, well, you guys are pointing, but there's no one there, so I just looked and... What? No, are you saying he's behind me right now? Listen, you guys made me look that way and that way, and there's no one there, so you do seem very excited, though, so I won't make you wait any longer. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the brain! Now, I'm sure you're all thinking that this looks like just another ordinary brain, but I assure you, this is the brain of Sir Isaac Newton. As you can see, it would be impossible to talk to the brain right now. Uh, hey, Isaac, how you feeling? Actually, I've got a bit of a headache. Ah, ha! Crash, what are you doing? I'm trying to get ahead in life. I'm the head cheese, the head honcho. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Crash, where's the brain? Oh, the brain. Uh, that guy there in the striped shirt, he, uh, he ate it. What? You ate the brain? Oh, yeah, gobbled it up good. No, I don't think so. Crash, where is it? Uh, all right, the brain? Yes. It's right over there. Where? Right there. Crash, are you crazy? Well, there was this one. Don't time. answer that. Get out of there. Oh, yeah. Hey, where's the brain? Have you guys seen it? What? Oh, no, those are my new shoes. What? Oh, behind me. You got ah, new shoes? Crash, this is the brain of the father of modern physics. It's over 300 years old. Yeah, and it makes a great <gasps> hacky sack. <laughs> Crash, I hope you didn't cause it any brain damage. Huh? So this is the guy who invented uh, gravity, huh? Before this guy came along, we were just floating around the Earth. Then he comes along, invents gravity, and we slam down to Earth. What happened? Rash, he didn't invent gravity. He was just the first person to realize what it was that had made us all fall to the ground. He was sitting under an apple tree and watching an apple fall to the ground. Hey, didn't the apple bonk him on the head? Uh, I don't think so, but it's a possibility. And now, he looks like... Look, it's working! My invention is really working! Ah, 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 ah! Well, did it work? Um, I don't know. Ask it a question. Hey, Newton dude, what's up? A direction, of course. Yes. The opposite of down. Hey, the thing works, nice. Who's out there? And why have you awoken me after all these years? Uh, Professor Prove It here, and we've assembled two enthusiastic teams of scientists. We were hoping to learn about your laws of motion. Yeah. It is a very curious looking group. Who is the one who threw me on the floor? Oh, uh, guy in the striped shirt! What? Everybody, get him! Crash! Well, it was a very unpleasant experience. It was him! So, you want to know about motion, do you? Yeah. I'm not going to waste my time explaining complex principles to just anyone. Huh. I'd like to see you figure out some things on your own. Let's see how bright this group really is. You know what I'm Go ahead and put on this one. All right, what's your name, sir? All right, well, we've got Ben for the yellow team. Hey. And what's your name? <laughs> Vanessa for the red team. <laughs> All right. Now, this is Egbert, the raw egg. Oh. He's going to help us with our next experiment. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, uh, hey, Professor, can I see that egg for a second? Uh, sure. That egg looks a lot like you, methinks. What? Hello. I'm Professor Egbert, and I know things about science. Blah, 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 blah. Ahem, Crash, I do not look like that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, it's pretty close. Oh, Crash, 
give me that. Get into position. All right, here, take your egg. All right, now Newton's first law is going to help us out with what this one. Each of you are going to get a chance to pull this pole back to create a tremendous amount of force. Your team is going to give you a countdown, and when we say go, you're going to release the pole, which will send the pie plate flying across the stage, but the egg will land nicely into the jar of water. That's not going to work, Professor. That egg's going to go flying and smash Vanessa in the face. <laughs> What? Crash, are you saying you don't trust physics? Oh, no. I'm saying I don't trust you. Oh. Well, you'll see. All right, Vanessa, come on over here. You're going to be up first. There you go, all the way around. Ben, I'll get you step right back here for me. So go ahead and pull that pole straight back. There you go. All right, guys, let's hear you counter down from three, two, one. Release. Gotcha. Egbert. Egbert. Are you okay? I'm amazing! Look at he made it. You're right, Crash. Newton's first law is amazing. As we see, the more mass an object has, the more inertia it has. So the egg can just stay. All right. Head right back up here. Okay, now I'm sure you guys know that when you throw a ping pong ball, it doesn't go very far. But don't worry, because I've got some technological assistance to help you out. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing my latest invention, my Mega Fan! Hold on to your hats, because this one could be a doozy. Can you feel that in the back row? No. no. You can't. Professor, that's not a fan. This is a fan! Whoa! <laughs> Crash! Is that thing safe? I don't know, but it's amazing! And you see, with the help of those ping pong balls, this is gonna demonstrate Newton's third law of motion. Right. Now, the fan will create a force. So whenever you throw the ping pong balls into the force of the fan, it'll send them flying. Because for every action, there's, there's an, an equal and opposite. Oh, you guys are good, real good. All right, now you can only throw one ping pong ball at a time. So you get it up in the air, the wind stream takes care of the rest. And now watch out for the edge of the stage there. That first step is a doozy. All right, so if you guys are ready, here we go in three, two, one, go! I need some juice. All right, I need some juice, right, Fanny. Right into your hoop. I got it going now. All right, so okay, now I'm going to turn it. Here we go. Yellow team, feel the power of my fan. No, 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 no. Oh, these guys are smart. Congratulations, everyone. You've all done a great job. I think you've got it. I'll be taking a long, well-deserved nap for a while. If you need me, you know where to find me. Until then, keep moving, everyone. We did it! Congratulations, everyone. You did a fabulous job today. I think you've all earned the right to take the oath of the mad scientist. Step right up here, ladies, and raise your right hand. <laughs> Crash your yeah. other right hand. Yes, of course, your right hand, your other right hand. <sighs> now please repeat after me. Please repeat after me. Very funny, Crash. Very funny, Crash. Thank you, Crash. Thank you, Crash. Ahem. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah. I. 